Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I am back to do another weekly wrap up, and I have kind of forgotten what my weeks are, so I don't remember off the top of my head. First off, a channel announcement. I I'm finding I'm just really tired this season and so I'm basically just going to be trying to get out the weekly wrap-up each week. It happens. It's a part of being human, part of being an adult, and instead of fighting it and making myself anxious or miserable, I'm just going to embrace it and be like, you know what? This is for fun. All of this, like making videos, talking with you guys, watching your videos, all of that is just fun for me, and I want to keep it that way. So I'm not going to be stressing with trying to put out a lot of content, because I just want to enjoy what we have. As I start to feel better, or if I have more energy, then you'll see more videos pop up. But otherwise, I am at least trying to get the weekly wrap-up up each week. This week, I finished something. So for our book wrap-up, I finished my reread of Terminal Alliance and really enjoyed getting back into this world. I recently finished the third and final book in the trilogy and it made me immediately want to go back and restart the trilogy and for good reason. This is a fantastic space opera that doesn't take itself too seriously. The premise of this series is humanity has gone feral, kind of like zombie-esque, except you're not dead, they're alive, but all the other behaviors that they've described reminds me of that. And this other alien race has stumbled upon them and found their, also their history and their written records and realizes they haven't always been feral and so develops a cure. And the humanity that has been cured agrees to be soldiers in their alliance against another force that is attacking the alliance. Our main character, Mops, or Marion Adamopoulos is in charge of the sanitation and hygiene group on the ship, so she's not actually a soldier. Her job is to make sure that everything on the ship runs smoothly, unclogs toilets, make sure the sewer lines are working, cleans up messes, that sort of thing. So shortly after a battle, her and her crew are trying to fix a sewer line that had been damaged and they are in essentially hazmat equipment. All the rest of the humans turned feral and they don't know what's going on and so they're trying to figure it out and it is just a romp from there and it's especially fun to see Mops and her group, they solve problems with the knowledge that they have. None, one of them is an ex-soldier but he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to fight, he doesn't want to kill people anymore. And so everybody else, all their solutions stem from the hygiene and san stem from the sanitation and hygiene department. Yeah, the problem solving in this is just so much fun to see how their brains work and how things happen, especially because it, it's not typically what most people would think of in a space opera. I adored it again for my reread. If you like space opera, I would say pick up this trilogy. Again, it's done so you don't have to worry about waiting years or anything. And give it a shot. It, it, it's so much fun. And then I continued making progress on Slaying the Dragon. And that was my week. For my writing wrap-up, I opened my Diana project and I did work on it a little bit. I ended up catching someone's write-in sprint stream and that helped. I realize what I'm doing is more deep edits because now that I've ordered my scenes, I'm going through and I'm reading them and tagging things like if I have a question. And since I've added two more scenes at the beginning, now when I've got to my third scene, which was my original beginning, I'm like, oh, hey, this information really needs to come first. And I'm just going in, putting it in, finding where it would make most sense in the first two scenes. So then cutting it from the third scene and then reworking things so that it flows smoothly. And I'm feeling good about it. Also, I mentioned it last week and I'm just gonna mention it again. So I was selected to be a host for the Worldwide Write-A-Thon and I was selected for a social stream on Saturday the 22nd 
my time is 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I have three co-hosts, and they are Jen from Jen's Bookshelf, Shannon from SD Houston, and Dolores Madil from Dolores Madil. I'm excited. Again, you guys should come drop in and say hi. The Worldwide Write-A-Thon has been just an amazing community, and I've met a lot of author tubers and then hybrid booktube author tubers as well through this community. And then for other media, I finished Good Omens and really enjoyed it. I'm now waiting on the book from the library. And then went back and finished the scripting the book episode where they were talking about it. And I'm glad I stopped where I did because then where I picked up again, they were talking all spoilers and now I understood because I had watched the season. So since I've been in a down mood, I have been more in a TV watching mood. I have continued watching, I think it's called Death in Paradise. It's typically a white British DI who gets sent to this island in the uh, Caribbean, San Marie, and then the other three are from San Marie, typically. I think one time we did have a French detective, and then it's kind of a closed box mystery where, hey, you know, murder has happened, and then these are our suspects, but how did they do it? How did it happen? Growing up watching the murder mystery at PBS every Saturday night, I have a lot of fun with these sort of shows. Oh, and I forgot to say at the beginning, but I am going to do my September stats because I forgot to do it last week. Well, no, I didn't feel very well last week, so I'm doing it this time. Okay, so for my September stats, my monthly goal is to read eight books a month, and that is four novels and then four something else. And for the month of September, I read seven. I read three novels, one novella, two short stories, and then one graphic novel. For my new releases goal, it's to read one a month. And in September, I read two. I read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, which is a cozy fantasy. Definitely worth it. If you have had, I know this book has been very hyped, and if you have had any qualms about that, this book has deserved its hype. And then the other one was Terminal Peace, which was the end of the trilogy, the janitors of the post-apocalypse series. That's what it is. For my Goodreads currently reading, I started with 101 and I finished with 102 because I put one book on my currently reading list as it had to go back to the library. For my physical TBR, I started at 113 and I finished at 113 because I do not recall buying anything and I know I did not read anything from my physical collection. I probably need to do a recount. I, I probably lost track of when we purchased things and whatnot. I might wait till the end of the year just to get that all figured out though. And then for series, started with 93 series that I'm in the progress with and 23 ricotta. So in the month of September, I finished one, the janitors of the post-apocalypse series. I started one, which was Rat Queens, the comic graphic novel series. Since I finished one and started one, still left our 93, but my caught up are 22 because his terminal piece just got published in August. And so I had still had it on my caught up shelf. And now that has removed it. That has been my September stats and the end of another weekly wrap up. What was your favorite book in September? I would love to know. Thank you and have a great day.